Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. I'm the Serious JG. So yeah, I got the new weapon for uh, Rita. It actually teaches her a skill she didn't already have, so it's a good thing that the fact pointed that out to me. And, you know, in case the person, by some chance, who wrote the fact or is involved with the fact is watching, I do apologize. Like, I keep, you know, m once or twice over the course of the LP, I've talked down about this fact a bit, just because it is overly cutesy, but yeah, it's got some pretty complete information, more complete than the other facts I'm looking at, so it's... It's hard to tell sometimes which cinema scenes are minor and just side things, and which ones, if you don't trigger them, you're not going to be able to get, like, you know, the Final Fantasy, man. That's a frustrating thing about Final Fantasy X-2. It's like, oh, in Act 1, you didn't talk to some random guy who mentioned that, you know, something about his sister being sick that you, you know, was no more interesting than any of a million other pieces of NPC dialogue. And now in Act 5, you can't find a treasure chest that gives you the best weapon for a certain character. You know, that kind of crap. And this game's got a little bit of that, too. So I did that. I found out that the high-speed running also works on the Outworld, Overworld, whatever map, which is great, because it's much easier to dodge enemies. Even though I did have one encounter and got one more fatal strike for Yuri, so huzzah. And uh, I'm bringing us back and resuming here, because I don't know that we talked to this person. Thanks for our lively. Thank all thanks to the Don and the Union. No, no, let's talk about myself. <laughs> Boss Barbos would have my head if you heard me say, excuse me, anything nice about the Don. Sorry, I perp right in the middle of talking to you. That's so rude. It was rude, but it's okay because you apologize. There's the blood lines, guys, I think. My mom needs to kill a big shot, really. Are you gonna die? Be careful, the brighter the light, the darker the shit. Hey, you folks there, how'd you like a rest for fully sanctioned by the end guild? Apparently you don't have the option of saying yes. Hey, there's somebody standing arms akimbo. Step right up, feast your eyes on these wares. You can't buy stuff like this in the Empire. These are the filthiest adult items available. Hey, what do you think you're doing just wandering around there? Uh, well, you got a problem, buddy. Talk to this guy. I'm not only talking to everybody once, but even with somebody saying all this interesting stuff like this, don't go walking into any alleys. Don't want if you get yourself killed. That's done. Not just anybody can be the Don, folks. Agro City of Guild, it's probably the freest place on earth. Friendly, this is a song. What is turf but lines on a map? Sir, you might want to stop goggling and everything. It's obvious you're not from around here. I don't know where you're from, but not everyone in Dongress is nice. I guess we're going to get attacked by... Oh, here we go. It's probably happening right now. Okay, they keep telling us this place is dangerous. Waiting to get attacked. Somebody could have Rita already. Oh, there she is. Bam. Hey, what are you doing? What? Uh, n nothing. Hmm? Well, well, if it ain't little Carol. What was he doing? Hey, it's Guild Thugs. What the hell are you thinking coming back here? Hey, what's with you? Yeah, I don't see Nan. She already did you? <laughs> no way. She wouldn't stop nagging, so I took off. The tragic backstory of Carol. Ejected from the city and dumped by his girlfriend. This would explain why Carol wasn't too eager to go to Dongrist. I'm projecting my thoughts into your mind, Estelle. So are you the latest guild to take him in? You could do a lot better than that, loser. All this kid can brag about is the number of guilds he's joined. Oh, right. That's a bad thing. Apparently, that all these guilds are so desperate they're willing to accept a small child whose reputation as being shitty as a guild member by small child standards. Are these your friends, Carol? You can do a lot better than these losers. Ooh, w what did you say? Oh, you really lit a fire under this NPC. Such undignified men. Oh, now that's you've gone too far. You call them undignified Shut men. Up. You sure have a way of saying things. I mean, you're right, but yeah, you just keep talking. Well, I was agreeing with you. What's that sound? Oh my god, it's a bell! It must be the apocalypse! Damn it! They're back again! 
<laughs> JBL's limo. <laughs> Come on. It's like the stock market now. Yeah. The alarm! Monsters are here! You must be in repeat. Then you guys just got done saying anything that isn't human monsters? is a monster. Wait, is this shaking the monster's footsteps? Oh, they're supposed to be shaking. If so, they've brought quite an army. Yeah, but don't worry. Even if there have been a lot of monsters around here lately. There have been a lot of monsters around the here. Is like, and it's never been broken before. Okay, that's not the kind of thing you say right before a shocking twist in the story where the bright barrier is and broken. And the guilds take care of the monsters outside the barrier. Huh? Oh crap! <laughs> really? Carol, I think you're responsible for this. The barrier disappeared? What are the odds? I was kidding, folks. I told you, I haven't played... We're now past the point in the game where I know what happens. <laughs> I wasn't thinking they would be that transparent with it. Don't worry, the barrier's never broken. <laughs> the barrier's broken! I mean, it really was that what bad. What the hell is going on? The monsters are gonna get inside! Damn it. Why do things like this always happen to me, no matter where I go? You gotta be cursed. I think you're breaking the barriers, man. What Maybe. the fuck? Yuri, we have to go stop the monsters. Repeat, do it. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna do it. We get a chance to save first. Or... Talk to this guy. Only the monsters is our job. It ain't funny if the other guilds try to misalign in our territory. We only blades to lose face the monsters defeat us. Jet Jaguar. Is the monster defeated? Yes. Whoa, what's going on? Why would the barrier fail? Whoa, what the hell, man? It's bullshit. Monsters are coming for the exits. No, I'm trying to leave in other directions. I guess these are places I'm allowed to go, but not now. Oh, what are monsters doing in town of the Empire? This is citizen evacuation is top priority. Those who can fight, take up your souls. I can go to the Guild Union headquarters. It seems like a good time, but. What monsters for a great opportunity? Our guild's first job. We are the evacuation guild. Hey, it's a uh, food library. I guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook every word. Whack me with the pan and taught us minestrone soup. I'll give you this so you can practice. Got three sets of ingredients. Good to go to the meet again. It's like, wow, monsters are attacking the city. Let's learn about minestrone soup. So I picked up Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns the other week. And it's weird. I've been enjoying this game. And uh, there were periods where I was recording for other LPs I had going to keep them going and wanting to play this game. Now I just want to play Final Fantasy XIII, even though I haven't finished this game, so it's not like I'm beat, you know, going through old story I already know, but it's a strange, suddenly, like, ooh, there's a newer game around, even though they're the same system, same general overall quality of graphics and stuff. Well, this has an anime look. It's a different look, but... Yeah, and frankly, the story to this game is at least as good, though it tends to have more... Um, this this is a very juvenile sort of story with like you know reversal like oh there's no bar the barrier is unbreakable <laughs> the barrier is broken but I don't know what I'm trying to say other than the fact that yeah just suddenly I would have found it cute but suddenly I'm really annoyed by the idea that even though I I go out of my way to find stuff like this like you know oh no those guys are fleeing and um, we must hurry and track them and the urban music is playing they're gonna escape on that ship let's go spend a night at the inn. Now it's like, oh, the city's under attack by monsters. Quick, learn about Minestrone soup. Hmm, if I don't need a weakling like you. Well, I didn't ask if you needed me. Alan, how do you mean need? I didn't mean to go in there. I meant to talk to the girl in the blue hat. And now I really do feel like, how, how far out of my way can I go with this? A pack of monsters is headed this way while well, we have the barrier, don't we? What the barrier's gone, what are we going to do? 
There's no way to hold shit. Oh fuck, man. Like, it seems like I could really go out of my way in the wrong direction here. Yeah, wonderful. Find Raven here. He's so Raven. I'm allowed to come into the cell, but nothing happens there. Just want to make sure that I break into all of your cells. I found an apple gel inside the toilet. No way am I picking that up. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I guess. You ain't going any further. <laughs> Buddy, I just went right past you, broke into all the cells, and then on my way out decided to see what you had to say. You said I ain't going any further. I guess this means now I'm trapped in jail because I'm under arrest for having broken into the cell. Beyond this point are the private rooms of the union officials. You can exit from the lift. You're not allowed past this point. Buddy. I looked into the pot. My face is turning red. This hand of mine is turning red! Alright, well that was a big bunch of nothing. But apparently we we're going to be in prison at some point. Because why else would there be a prison? We're not going to end up in it. Will we find the Don't believe something about this? This town has always been that way. There's nothing to worry about. Don't panic! Do not panic! Oh, hey, I can actually go in here. Tavern Crimson Stars. It's locked. I look for all the world like a background plot door. Trixy game. There's all sorts of places where it looks like you should be able to go through, but you can't. Alright, well, I think I'm running out of places to go that doesn't involve actually dealing with the problem. I hope my legs won't move. Sir, sir, please help me. I wasn't given an animation for this situation. I hope it's something we can't handle. I haven't saved in a minute. Oh, there's too many of them. It's going to be a plot scene. Where are all these monsters coming from? Well, they're not monsters. They're just friends you haven't met yet. Remember the dialogue? Something isn't right. Doesn't something seem different about the monsters as well? Don't these monsters come from previous continents that we've been to and not from around here? Here they come. They're foreign monsters. They should have their own schools. I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. Actually, this... Sorry, but these two, um, I just had to pause because I pulled out a, a drink and didn't realize we were going to be in combat. But these do seem like enemies from, like, previous uh, sections of the game that are probably ridiculously easy now. Yeah, these are not, like... Yeah, I just wiped, out, wiped them out with area of effect Don't attack. Let up. There's more coming. Why are there so many? To make it easy. Oh, but there's lots of them, so it seems challenging and exciting. Even though they're really easy. We defeated four, I mean... Piece of cake. Don't get careless. Oh, those beetles are new. I think. Maybe they're not. Crabman! Crabman! No, I guess the beetles are... I don't know, the beetles are new. It, they don't have a hit point number. Uh. Okay, well. Gotta think about arts. Can't just go all out. Yeah, I did my fatal steps there, so I'm off. Damn, there's no end to these things. I'm gonna have a rice ball. Might help. Yeah. Got onions. So that's cool. Wow, that one fan just got fan. Uh, NPC just got totally impaled by people. I, I don't know why I said fan. I haven't even been playing the WWE 2K14 game, although that's the one where I think of background faceless blobs are fans because they do, for obvious reasons, a much better job of rendering the wrestlers than they do the people. Forget it, run! Forget about thank you for me. You can have stress with me later, run! I guess that's wouldn't be forgetting things. I'm not gonna make it. It, you barely these battles are taking like seconds apiece. I know I'm over leveled, but this Come on, you filthy maggots. I'll take all out of you. Come see how it feels to get beat down by an old man. Sergeant Slaughter. 
it's probably the Don. That old guy is really going after him. Who the hell is he? Don Cornelius. It's the Don. That's Don Whitehorse. So that's him, huh? Yes, that's I said. It's the Don. The Don's here. Woo! Let's kick this monster scum out of here. Defend the city. Oh, I thought I was being invited to do a fatal strike on Estelle there. Nobody messes with the clouds of dawn. The anvil of dawn. Flynn! You're here. We didn't need you. Just saying. We've come to help subdue the monsters. Oh, uh, this is going to turn into like a uh, Empire versus Union bitch fest. Hold your horses, night boy. We couldn't live with ourselves if we let the knights do our dirty work. Now get the hell out of here. Yeah, take your little sidekicks who look like full fledged characters but aren't really with you. Is this really the time for that? Yep. Each and every one of these people left the Empire of their own free will and joined a kill. <laughs> there ain't a soul in this town so spineless they go running to you guys for help. You guys suck, wood. But these are the rules of the life we've chosen. It's up to us to make sure those rules don't get broken. Everyone have reasons that they're fighting. These are the rules we live our lives with. When will you ever learn? You're never gonna stop us. Seriously, the guy's like, you know, we're willing to die just not to hang out with you. That's how big of a douche we think you are, Flynn. This whole Empire Guild thing, they don't... I mean, I understand from a fantasy story perspective, it's just two different groups. I get that, but they don't really explain how this came to be in a way that makes sense to me. Sounds pretty stupid when you're about to die. So that's what a real guild is like. Never mind, uh, Carol. I'm not starting a guild with you. I'm going to join one of the pre-existing ones. It's obviously much better than anyone that we'd be able to start. Hey, you there! Lead the way. I have a name, you know. Where are we going anyway? Why is she asking him to lead anything? We're going to repair the barrier, Blastia. If we don't, the city will be overrun with monsters. Frankly, they're not, they're not that bad. We get a lot of good meat out of this, too. You're coming, too. You know, I, I'm trying to remember what 15-year-old girls were like. I don't know that many of them now that I'm no longer like a teenager. They weren't really this off. I guess that's my only option. So I want to be killed by you, 15 year old sorceress girl. What's going on, Holmes? The barrier failed right as the monsters appeared? What the hell is going on in this city? This place is worse than Chicago. Life, but I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> no foul, I can't. So why the hell do we have such terrible timing? Hell, hell, hell. How should I know? What? You don't really think I'm cursed, do you? What do you have to say, grouchy lady? The barrier broke, that's impossible. Is the empire behind this? Could be. Oh, you got a problem, buddy? Running it out. Okay, so this guy's refusing to leave his... I guess it's like New York City's like, You got a problem with that, mister? Uh-huh. Just don't break any more merchandise on the way out. This, this guy's like, I'm not going to build my shop now. I'm like, uh, you should really consider abandoning your shop now. Only wants is our job. Well, then do it. Okay, that's decorative. Ain't no lights here. We, the guilds, protect this town. Y'all got to be ready for the worst. Especially with us protecting you. I, I have lived in this town for many a year, but I have never before seen the barrier fail. But, but this town is my heart, my town. I, I shall strive to protect it with my life. And this tavern we can go into, so that's interesting. There's a whole bunch of people in here. <laughs> it's like, what? The city's under attack and be destroyed? Quick, drink. Quick, learn about Minnesota soup. There's no time to lose. Young people nowadays, striding into the bars in the middle of the day. Me, I can come in whenever I like. I'm an old man. I need someone to love me the whole day through. 
Love lost, what the cost? Give me things that won't get lost. Like a coin that won't get tossed, rolling back to you. I got a panty bottle from... From talking to this guy? I think I'm having a good time over here. I guess I was looking at this thing. I'm trying to... Sift drink in the afternoon is the best. It's the best. He must be, instead of a member of the Schwan Brigade, he's a member of the Swan Brigade. It's the best. I'm just totally in love with this waitress right now. I'm not going to run away just because of some monsters when I can stare at her while she is forced to stand here because she works here and doesn't have the option of getting away. The barrier disappeared. No good, no good. Now the barriers failed. I guess I'll prepare my escape. <laughs> Bears failed. No hurt. No hurt. Is it true the mares, monsters can't cross the barrier? What? The barrier's gone. You know, I appreciate the fact that for the most part, not not with 100% without exception, but for the most part, these people do have dialogue that relates to this event, although presumably they will all be here after we deal with the monsters. I'm just here for a visit and the barrier disappears. Talk about bad luck. I'm just really unlucky. Yeah, really unlucky. I've conquered countless obstacles to get where I am. Sitting in this bar. That's why I'm not afraid of any monsters. My opinion is nothing rougher than being alive. Man, you got a lot of, like, really quasi-deep dialogue being delivered by people in retarded animal hats. Bear disappeared. How should I respond to this situation? Perhaps I should drink. Hey, it's the man beast rhino. I made this world into a place where one can't even eat in peace. Damn it, I blame the union. Would you let me eat in peace? Oh my god. Hey, this is like fancy. There must be a plot scene that's gonna happen here. The Don's desk. Oh, he actually works in a uh in a bar. It's nice. Yeah, that's right. You're the leader of all the unions and guilds, the most powerful and important guy in Dongress, and I'm just like pilfering your shit. What you gonna do about it? To fight or not to fight, that is the question, whether that is nobler in the mind. Alright, so a whole lot of nothing getting accomplished here. I wonder if I can go back into the other guild now, or if this. Okay, this is the plot right here. We're too late. This is so horrible. Out of the way. There was something glowing up here. Oh, the control for the barrier. I guess. It's just out where anyone can get to it. Why not? I guess that guy was supposed to be guarding it. Hmm, might be able to do something with this. Rita, watch out behind you. Repeat is attacking. What the hell? It's just one thing after another. I'm sick of this. Uh, I'm gonna do it! Uh, okay, we believe you. There's the zincs and bronzes. Uh, we don't know what either one of them really are. They're strong against shadow, weak against light. I don't have any of those, so whatever. Gotta think about arts. You can't just go all out. Oh, Girl, yeah. you fucking goof. Zinc is their Destroying uh, a barrier. But that's We have to repair the Blastia quickly. Whatever, I'm trying to talk here still. Got some mystic clock, nice. Oh, looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier blast of failing on us. That seemed like kind of a dick move. I mean, I can't really imagine what what these guys are getting out of it, but I suppose we'll find out. They don't appear to be nice guys. They're dressed all in black and with glowing red eyes. But why? 
we could pay more, but why? Looks like you've got your hands full over here. So the dons of lecture didn't stick. I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier blast here going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. The core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the? This is an amplifier? <laughs> Looks like it. They're using cotton candy. And this formula again, the same as they were using back on a meat hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. So does your apprentice here mean appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? No, I don't know, but I, that's why I came here to check things out. That goes there, and this goes here. I wonder if she was watching a, an instructional video on how to do that, narrated by Harry Corman. Harvey Corman, who is playing a kind of alien species that runs out of energy easily. You know, not like you do. Star Wars holiday special is fun. Referencing for some reason. That's our Rita. She is uh, the glowing spot on the barrier blast here, apparently. All right. Creepy music has been restored. Time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. <laughs> and his guards are like, yeah, sir, but we can complain. I mean, we don't really want to get murdered by monsters fighting for these assholes who spin on us, you know? Just saying. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. Or Barbados. Why don't you just run away without my permission? You really trust Flynn, don't you? Does he appear evil to you, Estelle? Only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Hmm, I don't get you sometimes. How many guilds are there in the city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa. That many? Are all of them in the Union? Yeah. No, not all no. of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Dawn's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. Most of these kills have two the members. What are you so proud about? The Dawn's the amazing one, not you. Ooh, you just saw him kind of shrinking there. Like, uh, you know. He had some, uh, shrinkage going on. Yeah, so the... But yeah, I think the thing is, there are guilds that, like, have three or four members. And, um, if there's hundreds of them, they must have, like, we're the guild of guys who like to look at the color green. We're the guild of guys who like it to look at a slightly different shade of the color green. I mean, there's lots and lots of different guilds. Alright, well, I don't care what any of you guys say. I doubt it's changed. Oh, I guess I can check it out with these two. The pair is fixed while well, that night. Seems we drove all lodges away. What do you mean, we? Okay. Dongress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? Well, it's got different the theme music. So I mean, well, well, Everyone different. here is so full of life. Of course! It's the largest guild city! Everyone lives according to their own principles. It's not like your you city like is I mean... Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you please let that go? It was over 30 seconds ago. I mean, it was over 30 seconds ago. Oh. Like yeah, it even feels like the ghetto of a city you hate, Carol. What an incredible compliment I'm paying to your city. I'm saying this place is almost as nice as the ghetto of the city I come from. Crimson Stars is locked. I guess that's going to turn out to be like the Blood Alliance one. Anyway, yeah, as you're seeing here, we um, got a lot of background images of how big the city is, but it would appear that we've got about three or four locations we're allowed to visit. Better save at the end. It's pretty much time to end the video. Who am I gonna talk to? There's nothing inside. Nothing. Something stuck. The doors won't open. It's 
full of equipment that you can't have. There's Fortune's Market, too. It's a different Fortune's Market, eh? We're running out of space. I'm passing the savings on to you. Weak bottle. Medicine that cures weak. Makes you active. There's a medicine that cures... You know what? Medicine that cures petrification. You don't want to spill this in your room. Or it will unpetrify things that you wanted to remain petrified. Panacea bottles. We can now actually buy them as like a regular old item. Melange well, gels are actually pretty good. Uh, how much? I've got 50,000 gold. They cost a thousand each, so I really don't want to start grabbing shit tons of them. But probably wouldn't be a good, I bad idea to have some of each of these other. Like, there's, this is one of those games that has, like, a hundred different status effects, and probably each enemy only gives you two of them. Or, like, probably some of them, there's only two enemies in the whole game that even use that, but... I'm thinking, you can buy... Ooh, that's a lot of... That's an awful lot to drop. On these things. But just so I've got a supply... Ah, uh, here's what I want now. It's, uh, lots of ingredients. Y'all got any eggs? It's been a long time since we were allowed to buy eggs. Oh, never mind. We are allowed to buy eggs somewhere because I've still got some. Just dropped a lot of money, folks. I didn't even check to see what we get synthesized. What am I doing? I better equip some of this crap first, because I just spent money on stuff that I may not have needed uh, to spend money on. Oh, okay, he's the guy who's going to use the, uh, the spiked gloves eventually, I guess. So he's better off with the S-Dock. Although I probably want him to finish learning that stuff first. She's the same way. She's better off with this new thing. But uh, was she in the middle of learning anything else with what she was using? No. So we'll let her use the S stock. Unless the S stock is like increasing physical attack and making her magic lower. Which, how it is. She should really be using the damn mace. Because I got her in the background using magic anyway. Ah, oh, screw it. Maybe we should go melee for a while. Okay, we'll finish up with a king size belt first. Alright, well everyone's got tons and tons of equipment, so that's exciting. Who are you saying? 400 gold? Uh, I don't really want to stay, actually. So let's just save, if that's what I'm really after. Alright folks, so that's it for this video. Um, when we come back, you know, we've done some shopping. Uh, we've got some characters that have more than one weapon uh, where they still have skills to learn, so we get to work on that. But uh, we basically just rescued the city, so hopefully we'll uh, earn some brownie points with the Dawn. Um, for what that's worth. 
But I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and please tune in next time when... I don't really remember why we're here. I know Carol wants to start a guild. Um, yeah, I kind of lost the plot a little bit, but uh, the Empire wants us to go investigate some woods, which is somehow connected with these... The something... I don't know. Uh, I really should just go back and actually watch some of my own LP to get refreshed what the plot is. But um, I have no doubt that before we're going to be able to leave this city, we will be given a new objective to go to. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.